Hello and welcome. In this episode, we are going to discuss about surrogate mother experiment that was conducted by American psychologist Harry Harlow in 1950s. So, before surrogate mother experiment, many of the existing theories of love centered around the idea that the earliest attachment between a mother and child was merely a means for child to obtain food, relieve thirst and avoid pain. Harlow, however, believed that this view of mother-child attachment or bond was an inappropriate explanation. Surrogate mother experiment showed powerful effects of love and in particular the absence of love. Harlow had the idea that infant monkeys who were separated from their mothers at very early age, that is within 90 days after birth, can easily cope with the surrogate because the bond with the biological mother has not yet been established. Furthermore, he also wanted to learn whether the bond is established because of pure nourishment needs that is milk or if it involves other factors. Surrogate mother experiment tackled both hypotheses. That is the first one, if the surrogates can take the place of biological mother and the second one, if the bond between the mother and child is purely based on nourishment needs. To do this, Harlow separated baby monkeys from their biological mother after birth and kept them in a closed cage isolated from their biological mothers or any other inmates. He then placed these monkeys in a nursery with inanimate surrogate mothers, one who was made of heavy wire mesh and the other made of wood that was covered in terry cloth. Both surrogates were of the same size. However, the wired mother did not have any soft surface, while the cloth mother was soft to the touch and feel. In the first experiment, both surrogates were placed with the baby monkeys. So, the baby monkey would have a choice where to go. Both surrogates were able to provide nourishment to the babies. And as expected, baby monkeys went to cloth mother because of its soft touch or soft feel. In the second experiment, the baby monkeys were divided into two groups, that is, one that were nourished by wire surrogate mothers and other by cloth mothers. To understand it in a better way, Half of the baby monkeys were nourished by only wired mother for a certain period of time. But later after some time, they were given both the mothers and the results were shocking. Even though the baby monkeys received nourishment from the wire mother, they still spent most of their time cuddling and being affectionate with the cloth mother. Babies came to the wire mother to feed and immediately returned to cling to the cloth mother. They spent nearly 17 to 18 hours of the day on cloth mother and less than one hour on wire mother. This shows that the bond between mother and infant is not only based on whether the mother is able to provide nourishment to the baby or not and that the contact comfort that is the comfortable feeling that baby has with mother's contact is more or equally important like nourishment and nursing in parent-child bond. We will discuss more about Harlow's monkey experiment in upcoming episodes. Until then, bye.